Now, one question that's come up, and it's come up actually quite a bit over the years, is, is that daisy chaining? No, it's not. This is called a pass-through connection. Daisy chaining is when, per se, we've got our power supply here. Let's say we had another power supply. You can see how this power supply is connected. We have our ground, our neutral, and our live lead, okay? If somebody mounts another power supply, namely a YouTube content creator, because we've seen this done time and time again, and they decide they don't want to put in a power distribution block, what they'll do is jump, like let's say, this live lead over to the other power supplies live terminal to avoid doing extra work. That is daisy chaining and that is going to get you in trouble. You do not want to daisy chain. A pass-through connection in this term is simply allowing electricity to come into the enclosure from the bottom and then pass that electricity from the bottom to the top. So we have in electric going to all our componentry and out going to whatever accessory plugs in here and of course our external fuse. Now my systems have three fuses. This is the external, we have one inside the G540 and we have one inside the power supply for triple redundancy protection. So now you understand when you look at the system I think you can get a better feel of just how this is wired and just exactly what we're doing here and what you're about to see done. Hey guys, movement in your hand or wrist is going to be transferred to your, your conductor. You're going to come in. Let's see what we got. You can see the abundance of flux we have. We're gonna put more solder on, that's a dry joint. And once again, we're gonna come up. Yeah, we go.